Hi guys, this is Carrie with Fullerton Professional Organizing and I am talking today about dresser drawers. Now I org I've been working on my husband's closet, chest of drawers and his office which desperately needed organizing. But today we're just going to tackle talking about how to organize your chest of drawers and um, and then I'll have um, on YouTube Fullerton Professional Organizing you'll be able to see the video of how I organized his chest of drawers and there will be a different video for his closet and uh, I'm not sure if I'll do a video on his office or not. I haven't decided, but for sure you'll see a, uh, I also organized a pantry for a widower who lost his wife in December, and I will put that pantry uh, uh, video up. But we did um, use what he had. We we purchased very few items, so uh, you'll see see how that works out. Uh, I like containers, but some people don't. They have to see, visualize, and be able to grab everything, and that's how I organize. I organize by what's going to be easiest for them to put back and keep organized, not how I would organize my stuff. Uh, so you will see that later on, but let's go ahead and start with chest of drawers. Now the first thing you want to do when you're organizing chest of drawers is you can do it two ways. I like doing it by drawer because with my drawers I don't change up the order any. I have the same thing in those drawers every time uh, or I will switch out drawers, but um, you know, if you're going to switch out your drawers and what's in the drawers, then you will probably have to take everything out of all the drawers. Um, but if that's overwhelming, just do one drawer at a time. But take everything out of that drawer, wipe it down, and then fold it back up. Make sure you get rid of all the stuff that you're no longer going to wear. You're no long the no longer fit. Um, everything must fit nice and loosely in the drawer. No cramming stuff in and forcing it to fit. If you don't have enough room in that drawer, it's either not the right drawer or you have not downsized enough items. Okay, so that you can donate, sell, or recycle a piece of clothing you haven't worn in over a year. Now, um, if you've emptied everything out of your whole chest or drawer, you will need to divide things up and categorize them by like items. Put all like items with like items and downsize each category until it fits, again, loosely into your drawers. Now, the way you should be organizing your stuff isn't always going to work for you. Um, items should be put back with the top drawer holding your everyday used items, your daily used items, and your last drawer seasonal, uh, occasional items. Now, here's a new idea. If you for sure take a shower every morning instead of every night, you might find a place in your restroom, in your bathroom for your underwear. That's a new approach that may work better for some and not for others. Um, but that is a new idea. Let's see. Uh, items should be put back with top drawer. Okay, we already said that. Uh, top drawer 
items and last drawers holding your occasional or seasonal. And then the new idea is or undergarments may be more conveniently stashed in a bathroom. I usually sit on my bed to put my casual shoes on. So I have my socks in my uh, side table, my, um, side, my bottom drawer of my bedside table. Now in my dressers, I only have three drawers. So in my dresser bottom drawers, I have my seasonal items like uh, my sweaters and winter items because we don't have a huge cold uh, season. So what little uh, winter items I have in cube organizers in the bottom of my Chester drawer. And then I have the summer items in a cube in the top of the closet and then I will just switch those um, seasonally when it comes time for beach wear. Now, um, now my husband's chest of drawers uh, is organized much different than my dresser drawers or much different than I would organize, uh, normally organize a chest of drawer. Um, and Again, I have to organize by the person's personality and how they're going to put things back. Uh, so my husband's chest of drawers is very different. Now in my top drawer, I have my bras, underwear, and camisoles. In the middle drawer, I have my PJs. And then again, bottom drawer, I have my um, seasonal items. Now with my husband's drawer, he has right side drawers and left side drawers. So on the left side, on the left side top, he has some personal items like clip on sunglasses, a checkbook, any of those personal items that might he might need not every single day, but maybe every day or so, you know, most commonly used items. Uh, then uh, some shoe, shine, shoe polish and stuff for shoes. And then um, what's the next one? The next little area. Oh, he has knives. And then he has a section where he has boxes of his gun stuff, his bullets. Uh, for easy retrieval if he needs them. And then the next drawer is he has his undershirts and his socks. And I have the black socks in a basket. I have the white socks in a basket and then his white ankle socks in a basket. Now, I don't think he needs all of those, but at least they fit nicely in the drawer and I don't have to shove them and, and pack them in and push them and squish them in. Uh, and then at the bottom, you know how uh, some homes have a junk drawer? Well, in our home, we call our junk drawer our utility drawer and it's well organized. Well, my husband has his very own utility drawer and I did manage to organize it in uh, just extra cell phone stuff in one basket, um, any electronic wires or anything that he just leaves laying around in the bedroom, I put in that basket. And then um, uh, some tool items. And when I say tool items, I'm just saying the things that he has doesn't, uh, he can't find easily in the garage or wherever he puts it. Uh, there's measuring tape and then there's duct tape and um, anything he leaves laying around tool wise will go in there and I believe that's it but that drawer is basically the junk or the utility my husband's utility drawer it just seemed to be the easiest best way for me to organize his drawers because it just was. So now, um, uh, now on the right side, the top drawer 
is his underwear, and they're in baskets. And then, um, what is next to the underwear? Well, we'll come back to that. Um, let me see. I know I'm missing it here somewhere. This is why I do use notes. Oh, it's jeans. And the reason I forgot is because we could either put his jeans folded in the drawer or I put some hooks in his closet so he can just hook the belt loop of his jeans on those hooks because he does tend to put things, he doesn't put things in the dryer. So um, they have to hang somewhere to dry. So these are just some ideas that I came up with and we're still seeing if they work. Um, and then the next drawer um, has his casual pants because he doesn't really wear dress slacks. So, and then the bottom drawer, uh, I have one pair of um, pajama bottoms in case we have a cold spell, and then his shorts. Again, those are seasonal items, but I am able to actually keep those seasonal items in that drawer because it's warmer here most of the time, and he's only got one pajama bottom, and we may have two cold days, so... Uh, and it's just because it's a Longhorns, his football team, uh, pajama pants, or he wouldn't have any pajama pants at all. Uh, and then I have his swimwear in a container under his bed. Now, it could be switched out with the pajama pants, uh, but that's how we have his uh, swimwear right now. There is one swim trunk and towel hanging in his closet so that it's easy to find but um, he does have some more swim trunks under the bed. Um, and I think that is it on how his chest of drawer is organized. And again, you will be able to see that on Fullerton's Professional Organizing YouTube channel. And uh, I have a lot of uh, organizing over there. Um, now, I, um, the things that you would hang up, would be um, the dressy clothes and the bulkier clothes, like maybe jeans um, and uh, sweatshirts. Uh, but we have a cube, a hanging cube organizer that we put all our athletic wear and sweats in. Now, he does not own sweatpants because, again, it doesn't get cold and he's um, he doesn't get cold typically. Um, so in my closet, I have loungewear, and it, they're made like sweats, but they're really, really thin, uh, like t-shirt material. I have, so I have my loungewear and hanging uh, cube storage in my closet, but I have two of them so that I can put shoes and my uh, loungewear in those. But, um, but I only have three drawers in my Chester drawer. He has six drawers for his chest of drawer. And believe it or not, he actually does have a lot more clothes than I do. Um, so that's what we put in. He's got one hanging cube uh, organizer and we have his athletic wear and his, you know, his sweatbands and stuff like that. And his tennis shoes are in those cubes. If he had dress shoes, I'd probably put his dressiest tennis shoes in the cube organizer and his dress uh, shoes. But he doesn't have any dress shoes per se. Um, they're all casual. Now, folding styles. Um, I love the Marie Kondo envelope package style folding. And I use those folding boards for my t-shirts, but you know, men aren't typically gonna do all of that as much as we would love for them to. So um, in that, it depends on your personality. And again, you know, what you're gonna actually do. So just simple folding, will work. Just fold according to what works for you, but the Marie Kondo uh, style 
is really great because you can actually see all of your shirts and all of the colors and all of and you at least know what design is on them so it makes it a lot easier um bins and dividers bins and dividers are good at keeping items together in a drawer and makes it easier if you are going to fold things in the Marie Kondo way, or I saw on a video they used bookend, a flat bookend with the flat bottom that can go, uh, uh, the bottom can slide under the clothes. That way when you take t-shirts out, you can just move the, uh, the uh, bookend and it'll keep all of that standing up. Uh, I right now I'm using bins, but I thought that was a brilliant idea. And um, some people have uh, purchased adjustable uh, drawer dividers. I just personally just use bins, but um, there are lots of different varieties of drawer organizers that you can find. And all you have to do is look on Pinterest and on uh, Amazon and they'll show you a a lot of great ideas um, matter of fact they have some on amazon that if you want all of the clothes in someone's drawer to be um, file folded or envelope folded like marie kondo style um, you can buy organizers that are divided to where they can't even put their clothes in their drawer until they fold it flat enough to go in t like files. So um, if this system of organizing uh, doesn't keep my husband's drawers neat, I may be going to that style because he'll have to fold them a certain way to get them in those things but that could backfire on me too because if he doesn't want to do that then his clothes will just wind up on the floor so i've got to be very we've got to be very careful with our unorganized family members yes we can organize them but we can't make them use those systems so um we have to be very careful uh, how we uh, approach those <laughs> situations. Um, now, when I reorganize my husband's stuff and if I move them to a different drawer, I like to put temporary labels. I don't like labels on the front of his dressers because his he's got nice dressers and I think the labels just look tacky uh, and, uh, and childish. So I do put the labels on sticky notes and stick them on the drawers for temporary until he gets used to where everything is. It's just simpler for him and the organizing stays uh, stays organized a lot longer if he can find his stuff and he doesn't get frustrated with me organizing his stuff. Um, and But inside the drawer, on the very edge of the front of the drawer, where it, when it's closed, you can't see it, but if you just pull the drawer out, the labels are right there on the drawers and on the bins inside the drawers. So uh, that's how I do that. And then my suggestion now for the very last two ideas I have for you is the top of the chest of drawers. You, you know, a lot of times flat surfaces are clutter catchers and instead of ha having that be the clutter catcher the top drawer you have to leave space in the top drawer of your bedside table or your chest of drawer for all that stuff that collects on the top of your um, chest of drawers it's stuff like uh, change and wallets and and stuff that you know, you use every day, so you put it on your chest or drawer, but it just looks messy. Have a place in the top drawer for that stuff. So it's still convenient, easy to get to, but it's out of sight. Because um, the top of your dresser should 
stay the top of the chest drawer should stay neat as well now maintenance the best system is the one you will use if it's a mess in six months or if it's a mess next year then the system didn't work and it needs to be adjusted so arrange your drawers and whatever setup makes it easiest for you to assess and put away your clothes if something's not working refine it you'll stick to an organization scheme that works for you so make tweaks to your dresser as you discover how you use it maybe it makes more sense to have shirts up top if you don't mind reaching for socks in the bottom drawer or you prefer underwear and bras paired together in one drawer so you have extra room for other pieces elsewhere adjust as you like and make a habit of putting clothes away right as they're cleaned to keep a harmonized bedroom space all right guys that is it for uh the podcast and like i said if uh, you want to see how i organize my husband's go ahead and how i organize visually go to youtube and see that there all right thank you for watching i'll see you on the next video all right guys here for this person i had to organize all his meds right where he could see them right where he could get them easily he's diabetic so most of this is his I, uh, his meds that he has to take on a daily basis and vitamins and then the trash can for um, all the little things like his little needles and um, diabetic trash just the small stuff here in this little trash can here now I know. on his uh, side I know. Drop table he has all his bad uh, flashlights that he hasn't been able to find. He's always losing flashlights. All the little screwdrivers, pens, pencils, remotes, all of that is there. His toothpicks. And if you hear talking in the background, that's life. It's home office uh, talk, so just ignore it. And then he has cough drops here and tissue. All right. And then in this top drawer is his extra meds that he does that he'll replace the ones next to his bed. Then just personal meds like Pepsid and Theraflu, anything he needs there, uh, batteries and eye glass wipes. In this drawer, beard straightener, nose trimmer and all his diabetic stuff and i added this one just for a little extra trash can because i noticed that there was a lot of trash in his drawers so that just makes it easy there and then the other one i already showed you and then extra splendas and salt and peppers there now here on top of his dresser we did put his cologne deodorant beard um stuff and checkbook and where he can put his change and then just an extra basket for junk that tends to get put on his dresser that doesn't look all that nice and neat all right so we've got that all right and then in his top drawer we have as you can see we labeled the baskets he has his personal items like sunglasses, checkbook, um, keys, and then I added in a little duster for him in case he's so inclined. Shoe polish and just some other well, junk. Okay, junk. As you can see, he has a sense of humor because he has some joke, joke, poop and joke roaches just like a man right and guitar stuff knives and his bullets for his gun 
next drawer he has his white t-shirts these are his ankle socks dress socks black socks and white socks now he probably doesn't need that many but at least they all fit in his drawer and all the bins are nice and labeled and then this is for his folding board for his t-shirts we'll see if he uses that but it's there if he needs it bottom drawer he is really kind of his junk drawer we have extra iphone i mean extra phone stuff here just in case he has some electronics that we don't he doesn't know what to do with he can throw them there and then i put tools but it's like tape measuring he can never find his measuring tape so that's there and then that's a battery charger i should probably put that with the the batteries Okay, in this top drawer, we have the underwear, and as you can see, it's labeled and Marie Kondo style folded jeans, but I also have hooks for him to hang his pants in the closet. That's a new idea, so I left these folded. Just depends on which one's easiest for him and which one he is inclined to uh, go with and then he'll have extra space here for something else if he hangs them up on the hooks then we have his slacks and pants um, folded Marie Kondo style but as you can see there's extra space there and then these are his shorts this is his workout shorts rolled up his workout t-shirts rolled up and then Con uh, Marie Kondo folded shorts, but um, I thought these workout items would be easier to just roll instead of uh, Marie Kondo fold. And I don't know if he's gonna uh, be the type to fold them Marie Kondo style, but that's how I have them organized for now. All right, guys, that is the how I have his chest of drawers and side tables um organized and um i hope you enjoyed this video and come back and watch the next video it should be of his office